Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamRecord.com, and today I've got a quick tip, or rather a quick update. There's no tipping involved, zero tips whatsoever, just, just an update. A very straightforward update, in fact. Uh, so back in March, Wahoo announced their Speedplay Zero Power Meter Pedal, uh, and they announced it was going to come out in summer 2021. Uh, now, summer has a definition of, let's see, June 20th to September 22nd at 11.32 p.m. Um, that's the exact time, just in case you're curious. Eastern time, for those of you that are wondering, uh, that's the that's definition of summer uh, for this particular year. Uh, and thus, a lot of people have been asking the last couple weeks, especially, uh, like almost daily at this point, is Wahoo going to hit those timelines? I know a lot of us also think of summer as like June, July, August. Not Australians. You don't really count. You're down under. And at this point, you're like in winter or fall or something. So we're just talking Northern Hemisphere summer because Wahoo is based in Atlanta, which is in the Northern Hemisphere. So you're asking, is it going to ship on time? And I went back to Wahoo and, and they simply said, no, no, it's not. In fact, the exact quote is, uh, they are, quote, still actively developing the pedal, uh, but that unfortunately it will not be available this summer as previously announced. Uh, so they didn't provide any other information beyond that as far as why or when or if it's going to be like October or who knows when. They didn't say. Uh, now, I would not read into this too much beyond obviously the delay uh, in terms of their intent or anything like that. They, in fact, published the manual for it back like a month or two on a support site. I'm not sure if they meant to or not, but it's been there for a while. People on Reddit saw it and stuff like that. But what I do know is that developing power meters is really hard. And developing power meter pedals is really damn hard. Uh, and we've had plenty of companies over the last decade uh, try to do both of those things and plenty of companies try to make power meter pedals that have failed or have had significantly delayed like by years uh, time frames uh, and so that doesn't really surprise me which isn't a slight on Wahoo it's just simply a historical reference that the vast majority of power meter pedal companies over the years failed whether they failed on timelines or failed to deliver a product or just failed in some other spectacular fashion uh, like we've seen from many of the Kickstarter and kind of Indiegogo campaigns over the years now the thing is I don't think it's going to impact that many people though and the reason is that if you're like a diehard speed play person then you're probably going to keep on waiting for this and if you're not you probably don't care about this. Uh, and as a reminder, basically the power meter pedal from Wahoo takes the speed play zeros right there, it merges it with the pod that's on the Favero Asiomo, but it's not their pod. Uh, but anyways, you put these two together and thus you got a speed play um, power meter pedal from Wahoo. Uh, but it is not their pod. A lot of people have been asking about that uh, and both Favero and Wahoo, um, but especially Favero have like, 100% denied that it's their pod. Uh, they said it just happens to look like it. Uh, and if you look, there's a video from Keith Wakeham up in the corner there, uh, an engineer in the power meter industry that kind of talks about this and dives into the FCC filings from Wahoo. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch of that video. Uh, he goes in tons of cool detail. Uh, he's always great for like geeking out from electronics, deep dive, like the componentry side of it. Um, so there's that. Again, I don't have any time frames for the power meter pedals, but what I do have instead, something you can get right this second if you want to, is this awesome t-shirt, the Trainer and Chill t-shirt from the DC Rainmaker merch collection. It's not a big collection. It's like a very, very small collection of things, like less than my handful of collection of things. But it's there and it's available right this second. And the links are all down below and you know the jazz. That's, that's how YouTube works, right? Speaking of how YouTube works, if you found this video interesting and useful, whack that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness, including the next video will be on the Samsung Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic. Uh, all my test data here have been out there swimming and biking and running and running again and biking again. I've been doing a lot of stuff to see how this thing works and where it works well and where maybe it needs a little bit of love still. So, like, subscribe for that. With that, have a good one.